Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play series. This is Diamond Lumberjack. And first off, I wanted to apologize for not uploading a video for a while. Darn it. Okay. For a while. Um I've been really busy lately. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I have been working on the world the last about week now. And we have, well, I have something I need to show you that I've been working on. Um, uh, we've been needing this for a while to expand our cave. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it by all means looks bad. <laughs> but it's a start so we're just gonna sail on over there and check it out what's nice is I kind of cleared out the um, water here so that we can get to it almost all by water now so if you look out here I bet you can almost guess what it is alright you done guessing Yes, it is a spawner, if it will render. There we go. A very bad spawner at the time looking. <laughs> After I built it, I kind of wish I didn't use diorite, but it's a different block I don't usually build with, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, so I'm going to get climbing up there because it takes a while, and I will see you at the top. Okay, so here we are at the top of, well, the first level of our spawner. Um, yeah, this is the, well, I wanted to explain. So most people build spawners for the drops. Um, I wanted to build the spawner to be a drop XP farm as well. Um, just so we have another source of XP farm. Um, so... I made it to where there's uh, water streams and stuff they can fall down in order to collect our mobs and kill them and also so we can get a looting sword and potentially get more drops. So I've only got half this water filled in right now because I had to make this wide enough for spiders to fit down. Um, so. Yeah, I really like it. I've tested it out a few times, and it works really good. Got a bunch of drops. Um, but we'll head up to the top of the spawner, and I'll just show you it real quick. Uh, there's a bunch of these tutorials on YouTube on how to make spawners. Um, so basically, I'm using a hopper timer here. Uh, it's a 19 tick timer. I have it turned off right now. I just need to put redstone here. And then it will cause a one tick update through our hopper. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it does a one tick as the dispenser uh, pushes a block into the hopper. And it sends power to our droppers and oh my gosh our droppers inside which will drop buckets of water um, here I'll just go ahead and run it through real quick so you can see how it works even though <laughs> you guys have probably seen these many a times so I'll just do that For some reason every now and then it spits out the block too it doesn't actually go into the hopper so I'm not really sure why So see, then the water dro Ah, darn it. There goes all my torches. <laughs> now things are going to spawn in here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. So I can get in there and fill it with... Um, torches. Uh, this is being annoying. Um, okay, I'm going to get that all lit back up and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like inside. <clears throat> Got hoppers on each side. 
this block is usually gone so that mobs can fall through. They fall down into our water streams and down into our collection area so that we can kill them. <laughs> Inevitable death. But yeah, uh, it works really good. Today we're going to build a uh, another level on it. I uh, got some diorite so that we can do that. Go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then they fall down to the water stream and down to the collecting area. And we collect them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get the collection area done and then we'll start working on another layer. Alright, so we're gonna start building the next layer of our spawner here. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a building compila compi compilation, so here we go. Okay, so we have the second level all done. Now we just need to close it off and run the redstone and it'll be ready to go. So back to the building compilation, comp, I like comp, I can't say that word. <laughs> back to it. Okay, so we got all the redstone set up. Um, sorry if my fan picked up on this uh, video while I was doing the compila compilation, but my it's hot here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got the second level up. The water looks good. So now it's time to test it out and see how well it works. So I'm just going to get this reset up. And I'm sorry, but I said the wrong number earlier. Um, my hopper timer actually has 20. It's a 20 tick circuit, so. There. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it works a, a whole lot better. See, I don't know why it keeps ejecting the block like that. If anyone knows, please let me know. Let's see how well it's working. So the water's off right now. All right, so I'm just gonna sit here for a second. See how well it works. Well, it seems to be working, and I'm really enjoying it. If we get another layer on this, it will be pretty efficient. Um, if you look here, we got quite a bit collected. <sighs> and the reason why I did four, like two by two as well, so they don't suffocate themselves. So, yeah. Um, I'll set up a crusher system as well. So that we can get them down to like one hit. And yeah. So that's what I've been working on. And yeah. <laughs> I'm 
I'm really happy. Now I can get TNT and expand my cave system, and we can start working more inside there. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, um, and hopefully I can get another one going. I want to get an enchantment room up here, a, um, a zombie villager converter as well and just a bunch of stuff up here make it look better um, but for now <clears throat> I'm gonna call this an episode so spider I should get a bow and then I could shoot them as they fall <laughs> but anyway I was gonna wait till they dropped again but for some reason, because that keeps ejecting the block, you can't really, I don't know, I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, alright, well, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next episode. Here they come. Yeah, that works good. And they fall down to that trough and down into our holding area. Yeah, I need to fill this with glass so the spiders don't crawl out. <laughs> but. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.